Hey everyone, welcome back to Main Street Live here in Oskaloosa. Now for sports, we're going to go back more than a hundred years back when baseball was king. Now the New York Giants were headlined by Christy Mathewson, the Hall of Fame pitcher, but it was his teammate, an Oskaloosa native who made a long-lasting contribution to the sport of baseball. Oskaloosa City Baseball Field will soon have a new name. The city looks to reconnect the national pastime with a long-forgotten local legend. His name was Luther Dummy Taylor, and he won 116 games in the major leagues in the early 1900s. He couldn't hear, couldn't speak, but helped pioneer the use of hand signs in the sport. Many hearing people on the baseball team didn't understand what I was saying, so when I used hand signs in baseball like out, uh, safe, um, go that way, left field that way, all those kinds of things. That's not the real dummy Taylor. He's buried in this Baldwin City Cemetery under a monument that details his contribution and success on the diamond. From me? Chuck Thiel knows Taylor on a different level. He reenacts him at Olathe's Deaf Culture Center. He says sign started when New York Giants manager John McGraw urged his team to take a hands-on approach to communicate with Taylor. At first, the, the team players thought I was crazy, but once started acting, getting there so they could understand my communication, they began to understand my gestures and everything. Taylor wasn't the first to use hand signs. According to 19th century newspapers, that went to another hearing impaired hardballer, Dummy Hoy. He finally told the umpire that, you know, you're calling balls and fouls and strikes and all. I don't know what you're saying, so you need to give me a visual sign. And that's where the umpires first started throwing their hands out for strikes and balls. Taylor helped create the communication between pitcher and catcher. Between him and Dummy Hoy, who played on a different team, the two of them, they really brought about some innovation with baseball. By bridging the gap between those who can hear and those who can't, Taylor rejected what his nickname might have implied. Luther Taylor was no dummy. Now go to our website, ktka.com, right now for a special web-exclusive version for the hearing impaired. While you're there, check out, a, uh, check out a slideshow we have, a bio, tons of information on the man they called, Dummy Taylor. Back to you, Ben.